Powerful storms again threaten parts of the nation's midsection, and tonight you can add flooding to the troubled region. In Oklahoma, a closer look at the incredible devastation resulting from last night's tornadoes. Hello, I'm Paul Emick, and welcome to this edition of Weather Center. We're working on this big story tonight in the Forecast Center, where Mike Seidel is standing by with the latest. Mike? And Paul, the death toll right now stands at 38 with those uh, killer tornadoes last night and early this morning in parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. And one of the reasons the death toll has been so high is we took a violent tornado and moved it through a very populated area, like in some of the suburbs of Oklahoma City. And over 700 people have been injured. And uh, again, we may see these numbers climbing, especially with the uh, fatality count, unfortunately, as we go on through the next couple of days. Now tonight we're dealing with more severe weather and you can see why we are a lot of a uh, spin. Notice the big spin here in the atmosphere and that is one of the primary ingredients to get rotating thunderstorms and tornadoes. We've got plenty of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico and remember on this infrared shot where we colorize the cloud tops for you, it makes it a little easier to see where the higher and colder cloud tops are and the bigger storms and tonight our main concern is from the Arklatex through Arkansas into uh, Missouri. As far as the area we're going to be watching for you overnight, it stretches all the way from the Canadian border to the Gulf of Mexico. But again, the main threat area is where you see the white. That's the high risk area for more deadly tornadoes, large hail, and wind damage. Some of the same aspects we saw last night, hopefully uh, not as serious as we saw last night, but you've got to remain on your guard and stay with the Weather Channel for the latest watches and warnings, and we'll keep you updated and keep you safe. Remember, the best place to be during a tornado not in a mobile home, not in a car, but get into the interior room on the lowest level of the building you're in and also protect yourself with something sturdy and we're not talking about a mattress. Let's show you some of the incredible uh, damage. First though, again, an update on the uh, perspective of the Arkansas area. You are really uh, right there. The bullseye has been drawn for the possibility of more tornadoes this evening and some of those storms are coming out of northeastern Texas and this afternoon we had more damage from tornadoes in DeKalb, Texas. It's a mess tonight after storms ripped through the area this afternoon. At least 11 people were hurt. Some of them were in a high school which was in session when the storm hit and many buildings as you can see there were damaged. Tornado watch is continuing tonight from our friends in Norman at the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, they were battered last night around Norman and tonight we shift our attention east of Oklahoma City, east of Wichita so those of you who were threatened last night are pretty much out of the woods tonight. But to the east, Little Rock, St. Louis, eventually maybe Memphis, and down towards Texarkana, you're all under tornado watches. And behind the cold front where we've had driving rainfall, we've had rainfall amounts upwards to seven inches based on Doppler radar. So a lot of you in the Show Me State, now into northern parts of Mississippi and western Tennessee are under flash flood watches. So we've got a whole variety of weather aspects. Obviously the most important is the severe weather and the tornadoes. And now we want to get the latest uh, thinking and show you where the warnings are now, the biggest storms, the most dangerous weather, as we check in at the expert desk with Dr. John Scala. Dr. Scala. Thanks a lot, Mike. Well, we've got warnings out in three states right now, Kansas, Arkansas, and extreme northeastern Texas. And we have those warnings out for three different reasons. And the best way to explain that at this time is let's take a look at the water vapor imagery and we'll have a look see, actually we're gonna go to the Doppler here. We're gonna look at the Doppler and from the Doppler perspective, we have warnings out in Union County, Columbia County, and Waukita County. And that happens to be down here in extreme southeastern, uh, southwestern Arkansas. And we actually have a warning out also in Crittenden County, which is in northeastern Arkansas and that would be right up in here. Now what we're seeing in this portion of Arkansas is the development of some isolated tornadic uh, thunderstorms. So the threat in this portion of, of Arkansas really has to be for storms that may produce tornadic thunderstorms. The reason being there is an intensifying low-level wind field and that's bringing in warm moist air out of the south. I just had a check look at the uh, El Dorado observation and their dew points are actually holding at 72 degrees. If we can go to the water vapor, there we go. From the water vapor perspective, we have a very strong wind field that's actually moving across Oklahoma at this time, making a, bull, a bee line for northeastern Kansas. The warnings out in extreme northeastern Kansas have to do with the, the nose of that very strong wind field. Uh, if we can go from the, uh, the water vapor imagery here, we're gonna go ahead and look and take a look at the regional perspective using the radar. Over in Missouri, our concern is for embedded thunderstorms. We have a, a line of very heavy rain. There has been some reports 
a Doppler indicated rotation within some of these deeper storms. The threat is going to be for strong winds and an isolated tornado or two. Northeastern Kansas, it is these storms for which we do have warnings out. They have had a history of producing tornadoes. Now, back to central Arkansas. The line drops down from Missouri and on into northeastern Texas, and it is these storms right off the edge of the screen which are producing the tornado warnings at present. I want to take a look here at the Doppler out of Little Rock. That's where we, uh, we began. We're going to finish up with the Doppler. The threat will continue on this evening right in here up to the Mississippi River, and we expect that there may be watches issued further on this evening to the east, including maybe perhaps, perhaps portions of Illinois, western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and perhaps even western Mississippi. The threat remains for tornadic storms and severe weather all the way along the Mississippi River Valley. If you live in those locations for this evening, have a plan of action in place in the event a warning is issued and you have to take action immediately. Let's go back to Mike in the Forecast Center. And we will certainly uh, pass along all those new watches and warnings which are anticipated from the Weather Service and from the Storm Prediction Center as we go on through this evening. Uh, some of the damage, as we've shown you uh, over the past 24 hours, has been absolutely unbelievable. And uh, National Weather Service investigators told us this afternoon that some of the damage is a result of an F5 tornado. They found houses ripped from their foundations in a subdivision near Moore, Oklahoma. And F5 is the most powerful tornado on the Fujita scale, which measures the strength of a tornado based on the severity of the damage. Wind estimates with F5 tornadoes in excess of 260 miles an hour, so far stronger than a hurricane. A uh, tornado uh, struck, down, struck a large area of Oklahoma last night in Kansas, uh, from Wichita to Oklahoma City. Uh, so far, since uh, early this morning, our reports have been less, but again, it's early in the evening, only about 7.40 local time in the Plain States, and uh, it, the evening is young, and as you saw, there are plenty of watches continuing, and we will keep you updated throughout this evening. As Dr. Scala mentioned, uh, have a plan of safety. Remember the lowest level of the room your uh, house you're in, an interior room, and protect yourself with something sturdy. Nothing like a mattress. There have been cases in the past where mattresses have actually led to suffocation, so just keep that in mind. Remember, if you want to hear more about the uh, story or more about the tornadoes, read more about the uh, news uh, story, you can always check out weather.com and check in at News Center on our website. Now with more on the rest of the current weather and your forecast, unfortunately including more severe weather for the middle of the week, let's check in with the studio.